Hi Lara, thank Hi. you very much for being here with us at the very first edition of the Explorers Festival. I hope you're enjoying it so far. So can you tell us a bit more about yourself? So I am French, I am 31. This is uh, eight years that I'm working in the space business. And um, as I said uh, previously, nothing was really um, pushing me in this field. Um, I'm a bit ashamed to say that, but I've never been fascinated or attracted by the space world. I fell in it completely by chance. And um, I developed an absolute addiction, not to the space, but to the people working in space. I could not see myself working with other people. They're absolutely fascinating and, uh, and I love them. Can you describe why it is like to work with them, the environment? Um, they have an energy that I didn't find elsewhere in other, any other people. Um, they're always ready to work harder, uh, to push themselves, and they, this is bringing some dynamics um, that are unbelievably cool and exciting, and it makes me want to go to work every morning the same way since eight years, and frankly, I love it. Tell us a bit more about your work. What is your daily routine? So, uh, I live in Germany, in Cologne, uh, far away from home, and um, I am working at the European Astronaut Center, where we are welcoming every astronaut that are flying to the International Space Station. So, it doesn't matter if they're working at NASA, at um, the Russian Space Center, or in JAXA in Japan, or here in, uh, in Europe. They all have to come to the EAC to receive some training. So I'm teaching them and uh, in different fields. So my specialty is physiology and medicine, but I'm also teaching in physics fluids. And uh, last year I certified as a simulation director, which means that I am certifying every ground controller that is operating uh, the space module Columbus. Can you tell us a bit more about the training that astronauts have to go through? So, um, first the astronauts are, are uh, highly selected um, and then they are entering a phase of roughly two years uh, named the basic training where they are receiving some global knowledge about everything. So, biology, earth observation, anatomy and physiology, they also have to be uh, fluent in Russian for some to speak Chinese. The ones that are no pilot have to learn how to pilot. It is very intense. Superheroes. Totally. <laughs> and um, once they're done with this basic training, uh, they're uh, certified astronauts and they're ready for their flight assignment. So as soon as they have a flight assigned, uh, they have to train on um, the different vehicles, on the different hardwares. So they go to uh, Houston. Uh, they also go to Russia to fly in the Soyuz, so that's very intense, they're training a lot. Sometimes um, astronauts have to train during 10 years before their first flight assignment, it can be very long. Um, but they're all uh, loving it and um, they're always very excited to learn some more, so this is, they're very good pupils. So what do you hear them? saying to you when they come back from a space flight? I don't know if it's really in their in their words. I think it's more in, in their eyes. There's definitely something changed there. And for some, it's not so easy to speak about that. In the first days after their return, some are very tired. And this is normal after months in space. Uh, they're organism is suffering, they lost a lot of mass muscle, bone muscle, they have to readapt to the, um, to the gravity, which they were not subject to in, in, in space obviously. Um, but after a few days, you see that they're looking at the things differently and they all talk about, of course, um, how beautiful Earth is from there and yeah, it's like they're happy maybe a new life philosophy. That's hard to say. I will tell you more when I will, when I will return from there, <laughs> if I ever fly there. So, what, how do you see the future of space exploration? Do you think it will be open up also to normal people? I hope so. Uh, and I strongly believe it, it, it will. I don't know if we can speak about exploration for the public right now, as I also tried to, to, to explain. I think there is discovery, exploration and colonization. 
I think this is time for uh, for the public to to travel there. Uh, we already explored a low orbit, uh, and I think uh, this is the right moment for the people to to, to really aim to low Earth orbit uh, through companies such as Virgin Galactic or many others. I think this is really uh, it's no science fiction again, and I believe it's going to happen very soon. What do you want to say to future explorers? How do you want to inspire people, young people, to pursue their passion? I want to tell them that sometimes a passion is appearing later in their life and they should not be scared um, to, to face it and to go for it. Um, talking about myself, my passion was horse riding since I am a little child. Um, and I had to face a very strange situation to be fascinated by the space sector, not exactly by space, as I said, but by those people. And I, of course, have stayed it, but as soon as they feel some very special energy uh, leading them, to pushing them to do something, they should really go for it, not, the, not being scared. And um, I just would like to give another advice. Um, this is to remain humble in what they do. Uh, if there is one thing that I learned working in the space sector, one thing is making a difference is humility. You're coming back to the people that are humble because you like to discuss with them and you want to go further with them because they are allowing you to speak as well. And at their contact, for example, Jean-François. Jean-François is, is an amazing astronaut, he's an amazing person and he and remains humble despite of everything he did. And discussing with those people, working with them, um, it's just enhancing your own capacity and capability. So be humble yourself and um, team up with the right people as well in order to just express the best of you and, and don't be scared, go for it. Thank you very much for these great insights. I wish you a great day. Explore the conference. Thank you very much. Thank you.